I Know You Anywhere is a novel about intimacy. I know that some people will think that is a very strange description of a crime novel, especially one that's about the relationship between a kidnapper and his former hostage. But I was really interested in these more universal ideas about what does it mean to know someone? And when you know someone, when you absolutely understand what lies in another person's heart, does that obligate you to that person just because you understand them when no one else does? I'm Laura Lippman, and throughout my career as a novelist, I've been very closely linked to my hometown of Baltimore, which I've written about in great and loving detail. The new novel is set in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., and it doesn't have those kind of details, not because I don't know the suburbs of D.C., I know them pretty well, but because the central character is someone who her entire adult life has been experiencing a sense of dislocation. Her home, in essence, was stolen from her when she was 15, and she can never go back there, and she's never found a new one. Almost all of my novels have been inspired by real-life crimes that happened in Baltimore, not well-known ones, usually things that I remember from growing up here, and that's certainly the case with I'd Know You Anywhere, but for the first time, I'm not going into detail about the crime that inspired me because it did involve the sexual assault of someone who is underage. Suffice it to say, there was a serial killer, someone who raped and then killed his victims, except in one case where the victim was allowed to live and actually witnessed the murder of another victim. And one day I thought, oh my God, what is it like to be that person? The central question of I'd Know You Anywhere is not how many victims did Walter have and Will he finally confess to the other things he has done? The central question is, why was Eliza allowed to live? And it's a question that Eliza's not sure she should be asking. It feels egotistical. It makes her feel guilty. And yet, it's a very natural question to ask. And it's even more natural for her to wonder if the answer is the missing piece of her personality, the thing that will finally set her free from her past.